These are items the police in Kamali found in a vehicle belonging to the opposition firm for Democratic Change candidate and party's vice president Eastern, Salam Musumba. Five arrows, one bow, two knives, sodium peroxide, military boots and electric wires, among others. We shall charge the occupants of the vehicle with a number of offenses. But if we find it fit to charge Honorable Salam Musumba, we shall not hesitate to do so. I defend myself. I defend myself, guys. And I, I, am, I am just in line with the, with the president's call that when you see guys following you, you, you stop and sort them out. I was about to. Do you think these are uh, weapons that could harm others? No, but I don't use them. I don't use them. Musumba had driven to the police to report a case of violence against her, only for police to search and discover the contents. The driver of the vehicle was briefly detained. The election that had largely been peaceful degenerated into chaos, especially within the township, when a section of FDC supporters accused the police of abetting bribery. <laughs> This man survived lynching at St. Mark polling station where FTC supporters discovered he was in possession of 650,000 shillings. <laughs> Voter turnout was largely low amid heavy police presence in the town and surrounding areas. Earlier, the five candidates cast their vote without much incident. Their NRM's Rehema Wetongola, FDC's Salam Musumba, and independent Samuel Walujo, Proskovia Kanakutanda, and Michael Chibone. Shirandoshire, NTV, Kamoli District.